Biofuels, fuels made from plants, have shown great promise. But biofuel crops such as switchgrass can wind up in competition with food crops such as corn for Michigan's best farmland. Michigan State University Extension educator Dennis Pennington and others are looking at the financial feasibility of growing biofuel crops on marginal lands. Some of the marginal lands that we looked at included uh, three airport sites. Uh, we looked at four highway right-of-way sites. The main questions we were trying to answer with this research included what are the different crops we can grow, what are some of the regulations and issues we have to deal with if we're going to utilize this type of land, and then what kind of production can we get. We had uh, variations from everything from um, excessively dried, where we didn't get any rain, to excessively wet, very poorly drained. Uh, and then we had, uh, on the highway right-of-way sites, we had a couple of sites where uh, we were planting in what was where they built the road before and they had all their construction equipment set up. So we had a very hard, hard pan, um, very shallow topsoil. And we really come to understand and realize what uh, marginal farmland really is. Researchers learned that safety concerns are a big factor. In order to use airport lands, um, the Federal Aviation Administration is interested in whether or not these crops will attract any large-bodied waterfowl or flocking birds that could cause an aircraft hazard. For the highway sites, they're interested in providing a safe travel zone for motor vehicles. The team is looking forward to continuing their research and answering some new questions. Is this an appropriate use of the land and is this in the best interest of the public? Based on these levels of production, is it cost effective to produce these uh, biofuels uh, utilizing this type of land? From Michigan State University, I'm Steve Evans reporting.